The LaserActive, Riza Akutibu Riza Kutibu is a converge device and fourth-generation home video game console capable of playing Laserdiscs, compact discs, console games, and LDG karaoke discs. It was released by Pioneer Corporation in 1993. In addition to LaserActive games, separately sold add-on modules called packs. By Pioneer except Mega Drive, Genesis and PC Engine, TurboGrafx-16 ROM cartridges and CD-ROMs. Pioneer released the LaserActive model CLDA100 in Japan on August 20, 1993 at a cost of 89,800 yen, and in the United States on September 13, 1993 at a cost of $970. An NEC-branded version of the LaserActive player known as the LD-ROM Squared System, or model PCE LD-1, was released on December 1993, which was priced identically to the original system and also accepted Pioneer's pack modules. The LaserActive has no regional lockout, allowing software from any region to be played on any system. However, it is considered a commercial failure. Accessories Topic <laughs> Pack Modules In the headings below, the Japanese model number occurs first, followed by the North American model number. Mega LD Pack Pack S1, Pack S10. Pioneer Electronics USA and Sega Enterprises released this module that allows users to play 8-inch and 12-inch LaserActive Mega LD discs, in addition to standard Sega CD discs and Genesis cartridges, as well as CD plus G discs. It was the most popular add-on bought by the greater part of the LaserActive owners, costing roughly US $600. It comes with a LaserActive branded version of Sega's six-button control pad CPDS1, LD-ROM squared pack Pack N1, Pack N10, Pioneer Electronics USA and NEC Home Electronics released this module that allows users to play 8-inch and 12-inch LaserActive LD-ROM squared discs, as well as CD-ROM squared and Super CD-ROM squared discs, Hikards and CD plus G discs. The Japanese version of the pack can also run arcade CD-ROM squared discs through the use of an arcade card duo. The retail price was US $600. It came with a LaserActive branded version of NEC's Turbo Pad CPDN1, CPDN10. An NEC branded version of the LD-ROM squared pack known as the PC Engine Pack model PCE LP1 was also released. Due to the unpopularity of the TURBOGRAFX-16 in North America, very few Pack N10 units were produced, resulting in their scarcity compared to its Sega counterpart, Karaoke Pack Pack K1, Pack K10. This pack allows the CLDA100 to use all NTSC laser karaoke titles. The front panel has two microphone inputs with separated volume controls, as well as tone control. The retail price was US $350, Computer Interface Pack, pack PC1. The Computer Interface Pack has an minus 232 rupees port, enabling the CLDA100 to be controlled by a custom software developed for a home computer. The pack came with a 33-button infrared remote control providing more functionality than the 24-button remote included with the CLDA100. It also included a computer program called LaserActive Program Editor on floppy disk for DOS and classic Mac OS. The floppy disks had some sample programs created with the editor for use with the first five Laserdiscs in the Tenchi Muyo – anime series. <laughs> LaserActive 3D goggles The LaserActive 3D goggles model GOL1 employ an active shutter 3D system compatible with at least four 3D-ready LD-ROM software titles, 3D Museum 1994, Vajra 2 1994, and Virtual Cameraman 2 1994, and 3D Virtual Australia 1996. 3D Virtual Australia was the last software title published for the LaserActive. The goggles are also compatible with the Sega Master System, and are interchangeable with the Segascope 3D glasses. 
They can also be used to view 3D images from auto stereograms. A goggle adapter, model ADP1, packaged and sold separately from the 3D goggles, enables the user to connect one or two pairs of goggles to the CLDA100. Topic: <laughs> Games. The standard LaserActive games were on LaserDisc encoded as an LD-ROM. An LD-ROM had a capacity of 540 megabytes where digital audio would have normally been stored with 60 minutes of analog audio and video. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Contemporary devices. In the early 1990s, a number of consumer electronics manufacturers designed converged devices around CD-ROM technology. At the time, CD-ROM systems were expensive. The LaserActive was one of several multipurpose, multi-format, upmarket home entertainment systems with software stored on optical discs. These systems were premised on early conceptions of multimedia entertainment. Some comparable systems are the Commodore CDTV, Philips CDI, 3DO Interactive Multiplayer, and Tandy Video Information System. Reception Computer Gaming World in January 1994 stated that although LaserActive was a better product in many ways, than 3DO, it lacked software and the NEC and Sega control packs were too expensive. See also LD-ROM Edutainment Multimedia PC